Hi everyone, it's Mr. Cooper here. Um, just created this little video for you. A few parents have asked how you can use worksheets while you're at home with your children. So hopefully this little video will help. So if you go start off with to the front page of our school website, you'll see here that we've got links to a new home learning page for parents we've created. You can also get it through going to the information and then down to resources for learning. If you just click on that button, you'll come to this screen. So we've got loads and loads of resources we've put on there for you. On the left hand side, if you click on the tabs, then those will open up those actual websites. And then on the right hand side, you can see loads of um, codes, um, promotional materials and so on, and a description of what those sites are. So to get you started, one of the best places to go is Twinkle. If you set up your account just by following the instructions on the screen, you will end up eventually at this point here. Go to the top, and uh, obviously I teach Year 5, so I'll be looking for materials in Year 5. And then it just brings up a load of different things that you can do uh, which are age specific for that class. All you've got to do is just kind of hover through and just kind of scan, see if there's anything there that you actually like and then obviously pick them out. You could be more specific, so Year 5 are also uh, doing Egypt as their main topic at the moment. So just type in Egypt and again there'll be a load of different resources that come up. Some of them are worksheets, some of them are PowerPoints. Uh, there could be quizzes, uh, reading materials, loads and loads of stuff, so just pick out whatever it is you need. So for this purpose today, we're going to pick out some Year 5 Maths materials. So again, just type up Year 5 Maths, and you'll see loads of stuff coming through, whether addition, subtraction, fractions, and so on. So for now, I've clicked on the addition button, so we'll have a look through here. All you've got to do, click on download now, and it'll just download everything to your computer. Um, open up the tab and you can either just drag it on the desktop as it's done now. So there's a load of material, so it's done it as a zip file. Drag it onto the desktop, uh, double click, it'll open the folder. And then when you go into the folder, you should see a load of material. So in this case at the moment, we've got the booklet itself and we've got an answer page, which is always handy because, uh, as you know, we don't always know the answers to everything. So flick through, open it full screen, and then just go through page by page until you find something that you think is appropriate uh, for your child. Uh, again, obviously you would know your children, so just pitch it at the uh, level of challenge you feel suitable. So what you're gonna need to do, as this is a PDF file, you're gonna need to take a screenshot of the page. So to do this on a Mac, if you hold down the Command, Shift, and number four button, it will create an arrowhead, and then basically draw a box around what you want to screenshot, just as I'm doing here. That will then, then put the screenshot onto your desktop. So if I move this across the way, you will see uh, my screenshot has gone onto my desktop at the back. If you're doing this on an iPad, uh, home and off button will do the screenshot and it'll save into your images. Um, doing this on another computer, again, there are different ways of doing screenshots. It depends on what you're using, but uh, you can just go to Google, ask Google how to do it on yours and go from there. Okay, so we've got our picture. I'm gonna go to Google, I'm gonna go to Hub, so if you ask your children to log in into their own personal uh, hub folders, they will need to use their um, hub username, which will end with at Um This has all been sent out to you, but if you need this, send me a message. Uh, type in their uh, password. Again, um, most of Keith's two children will know this, um, but if there's any children who don't, just send me a message and I'll uh, be happy to send that across to you via email. Uh, what we're going to need to do is open up J2Easy. Uh, in here there's a load of resources, I'll do a separate video at some point just to explain uh, what these different apps are, but for this purpose today we're going to go into J2E, which is this red button right here, and this basically opens up a blank worksheet for us. What we need to do is um, put our screenshot onto this page. So over here on my desktop I just need to find my screenshot, which is just there, and J2E is really easy, it's drag and drop, and you can see that it's now uploaded it onto my page here. Uh, so what I need to do is obviously pinch this to the corner of my screen, click on it, drag the corners to fill my whole screen, and done. Now what you're going to need to do is click on the picture and press the lock button just down here on the right hand side. That will mean if you uh, write anything on the screen, uh, it won't move that picture about, it'll be absolutely solid. So we've got a few images you could use. Uh, we've got a, the A button, which lets you text uh, type. Uh, you've got the pencil, which the children might just want to just draw on there. Particularly useful if you're using an iPad, um, but for this purpose now I'm just going to use the text button. So you click under where you want to do. Now this is going to be a test of my maths here, so hopefully I don't get any wrong. Uh, so 5 and 3 is 8. You will then need to click your cursor again, just underneath the next path that you want to print. So we'll go on uh, 3 plus 0, 
and you can see these are all separate text boxes so it's not going to line up perfectly but that's fine uh, one is zero so six to four we've got ten and we're going to put the one up there to remember to add on five and four is nine now the one is ten so again i could just put those two together there and job done and then move on to the next question so this way it saves you from printing out all these bits of papers uh, it's all saved in the children's account so when they come back to school then obviously we'll have those uh, the children will just need to save their files each time they do them so we're just going to call this addition and press save uh, we encourage the children to uh, press save every five minutes or so just in case the computer dies or the electric goes off or someone presses the wrong button uh, the plus button in the corner here will let you go to the next page which is useful if you're doing lots of work based on the same topic or you can press this new page button up there if you want to start something completely brand new so again for this purpose we'll go back to twinkle uh, we'll type in year five and we'll just find uh, some random resource that we could just show this again but not in the math space we've got some spelling work down here again we're going to wait for the page to open up we're going to download the materials again it'll probably go down as a zip file so drag the zip file either onto your desktop or just open it there um, double tap the icon uh, you're going to need to do it full screen so you can see the whole resource and again on a Mac if you're doing control shift 4 that'll change the cursor to an arrow key like this so you can actually just drag around and create a picture or again if you're on another device you could just do screenshot and so on uh, and it'll do the same thing so again that has now put that screenshot onto my desktop which is just down there so I'm going to go back to my Chrome. Chrome, by the way, is the best thing to use if you're using Hub. Uh, just flows much easier. Uh, again, I'm on a new page here now because this is spelling work, not addition work. I'm going to drag my screenshot over. So again, nice and easy tools for the children to use. So uh, no matter how young they are, they can start developing these skills uh, nice and early. Again, take it to the corner of the screen. Um, fill it up so you've got full screen use and it's easy for the children to use. Again, you're going to need to lock the screen, so click on the image, uh, which I'm just showing you here, go to lock, and again, that screen will not move now. So again, I'm going to use the text type button up there, ticking where I want it, and again, another test of my spelling, but we've got a coding in there, and so on. So you can just fill that up. Again, a nice, easy way. You're not printing off loads and loads of paper. You're accessing the same resources, the same materials and it just means you've got a, way, a place that the children can save it as well which should make it easier the children should be familiar with other tools such as changing colors and so on you can get them to do this if you want to um but obviously it's this is just a kind of core um video at the moment just to show you how to get the uh materials on again press save and save the work into their folders uh, if you're ever looking for where the work has gone go to their j to launch file click on my files which i've just clicked here and then you can see the work I've done today. So we've got spelling just here. We've got the addition work that we did. And it'll show you the screenshots of what we've uploaded. So you can actually do them again at some point if you need to. So hopefully that tutorial has been uh, quite useful for you. If anyone's got any questions or anything that you'd like to see, just send me a message and I'll create a video. Okay, good luck. Take care. Stay safe. And uh, we'll see you soon. Deal.